Today we honor Simon and Jude, apostles and martyrs. Both Simon and Jude are named in the New Testament lists of the apostles, but not much is known about them. Since there are two Simons and two Judes, we distinguish them by added monikers. Simon the Zealot, because of his love of the law, and Judas, son of James. The other two with the same names are, of course, Simon Peter and Judas Iscariot. Ancient stories tell us that the apostle Judas, whom we remember today, evangelized in what is present-day Iran and was shot to death by arrows. Simon the Zealot, uh, also with these ancient stories, evangelized in Egypt and then in Iran, where he joined Judas, Jude uh, in his martyrdom. Even though we know so little about these apostles, I suspect that the three years that they spent with Jesus during his public ministry would lead them to proclaim the same statement as did John the Baptist. I'm not, un I'm not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. In other words, if the apostle was successful in evangelizing, then Christ becomes the focus of one's faith. And you know, that's true for us today as well. It must have taken great courage for Simon and Jude to listen to our Lord and to obey what was asked of them. And this is one of the reasons why I believe in the resurrection. How could two men go to their deaths for a lie? The resurrection must be true. Courage is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and we receive this gift through the sacrament of confirmation, which, along with baptism and Holy Eucharist, is part of our initiation into the church. Amelia Earhart, the famous woman who attempted to fly around the world back in 1937, said, courage is the price that life extracts for granting peace. The soul that knows it not knows no release from little things. Courage is what Simon and Jude had as they conformed their wills to God's will in order to bring about God's tremendous plan of salvation, unknown to humanity until that moment in time, these apostles became aware of their role their purpose in this magnificent plan. They had to look beyond their simple lives of first century fishing and legal practice. They had to realize that Jesus was not just a leader for a vision of the world, but was also God's only son. Edgar Albert Guest, the prolific American poet from Detroit, wrote in one of his early 20th century poems, Courage isn't a brilliant dash, a daring deed in a moment's flash. It isn't an instantaneous thing, born of despair with a sudden spring. But it's something deep in the soul of a man that is always, that is working always to serve some plan. Christian courage has meaning when we realize that our choices are part and parcel of a bigger plan. Not a plan where human beings lose their sense of individuality, but a plan where God's love saves us from death and despair. Whatever suffering we experience is not without meaning and purpose. Our sufferings unite us to Jesus on the cross, and Jesus on the cross gives our sufferings meaning and purpose. Some years ago, I lived in the U.S. state of New Mexico, and there I learned about curanderas, healers. A curandera is a Hispanic and Aboriginal woman or man who uses plants and herbs and prayer to foster healing emotionally, spiritually, and physically. A person who becomes a curandera is one not by personal choice, but by the choice of the community. And within our Canadian Aboriginal community, these healers are known as shamans. I hope that our Canadian Truth and Reconciliation Commission, for those who experience the tragedies of our Canadian residential schools, 
will continue to seek healing, not only from shamans, but also with today's Christian priests and ministers who have also been deeply touched by this tragedy. As we remember the apostles, Simon and Jude, let us continue to raise the bar of our Christian practice of faith, knowing that God loves us more than we could possibly imagine. Let us take Simon and Jude as good role models of living not just for ourselves, but for the one who strengthens us and gives us courage. Amen. Together now, let us rise in prayer and humbly ask God to hear our prayers and our petitions. Lord, during this year of St. Paul, help us to grow in, the deeper, in deeper Christian faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we remember those who have supported this televised Mass and their requests, especially for the living and the deceased members of the family of our anonymous donor from Ottawa that they may be embraced by our Lord's compassion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Lord, that each of us here at St. Basil's and you who are watching may grow in Christian courage so that whatever befalls us, we may see it in the light of God's plan of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Lord, we include in our prayers the success of the first national event of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in Vancouver in January of 2009, we pray to the Lord. Lord and Lord, now we ask you to hear our own private prayers and intercessions, which we now offer in silence. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord Gracious God, we praise you and we thank you we trust in your courage through our baptism, confirmation, and entrance into Holy Communion. We offer all of these prayers through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become our bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. We ask you to receive these gifts we offer you with humble, contrite hearts. Lord, wash me from my sins, cleanse me from my iniquities. Pray, sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, for the praise of the Lord's name, for our good and Lord, each year we recall the glory of your apostles, Simon and Jude. Accept our gifts and prepare us to celebrate these holy mysteries. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 